that has never made it to a final before. But are two goals ahead. It's forming into quite the rivalry between these two teams. And Thailand getting the better of the Philippines in the SEA Games. And in their first meeting in this edition of the competition. But the Philippines getting the better of Thailand in the Asian Cup. With World Cup qualification on the line. And tonight, potentially, with the AFF Championship. Lovely touch. Rides the challenge well. Sang Rawi cuts it back. And the shot is over the bar. The substitutes combining well as Alisa Ruk Pinij was on the end of that. But under a lot of pressure from Sarah Egesvik. And that was enough to put off the substitute. Oh, what a moment for Thailand. Fantastic move. Well, that's the importance of having your holding centre mids that have got good engines on them. And Egesvik has been, you know, almost flawless in the middle, working so hard. I mean, not too involved on the ball. I mean, we've been chasing a lot of possession in this second half. But in terms of being defensive and getting the right side of players and making it hard for Thailand to play, they've been limiting all the time. Crunch time. It's all about holding your nerve now for the Philippines. And for Thailand, it's about finding a bit of inspiration, a bit of magic. Bolden into the path of Carly Frillis. She's one on one with her marker. Sends the ball in early for Serena Bolden. She's been lively since coming on, Carly Frillis. Just hasn't produced an end product quite yet. Yeah, good work on the right-hand side, lifting it a little high for Bolden. But at times, the Philippine attack is a little bit isolated now. I mean, that's understandable. It's very late in the game. A lot of energy, there's been a lot of distance covered by the players, and in transition, not quite as willing to, you know, join in. But also, we've got to remember that we do have defensive responsibilities as well. Long wins that one. Into the final 10 minutes. Spreading it over to the right flank. And just beyond. Nam making the run for it. And she's been relentless in this game, working very hard for Thailand. She's going to need to dig deep a little bit longer. Slip from McDaniel on the goal kick. Straight to Pramnak. And Kanyanat Chetabutter knows the drill. And Olivia McDaniel shaving off a precious few seconds off the clock. And this can be the frustrating part of the game for a team that's 2-0 down. And as long as the Philippines can stay professional, make sure that they can just get themselves on the ball and you know create a few phases of play which you know do help take the minutes away from Thailand because Thailand are the ones who have got to make the move. They're the ones who have got to make sure that they push and take risks. The Philippines doesn't need to take risks. And that's the scenario, the difficult scenario that Thailand have to face. All the risks need to be taken by the blue shirts. The Philippines have the luxury of simply shutting things down.
Panya so calling for calm from Thailand. And a loose touch. And a tussle won by Quinley Casada. What a shift she's put in as well. Always a willing battler, Quinley Casada. Egesvik looking to deliver this one into the box. Bolden gets ahead to it. And safely into the hands of the goalkeeper. The Philippines really trying to take advantage of their physicality. Every chance they get, they send it into the box. Yeah, it's about playing the percentages sometimes. and. I mean, the Philippines is 2-0 up. They've only got to make it happen one more time. And I think over the last two, three minutes, Thailand showing a little bit of fatigue. And we've been a little bit careless on the ball. And every time that the ball goes out for a throw-in, the Philippines is in control of the tempo of the game. And Thailand needs to get that back if they're going to get themselves back into it. Tidally done between the two center mids. But shown a bit too much to Egisvik. Howard, alert to the danger. And looking to send one in behind, and it's straight to Olivia McDaniel. She's been called into action quite a bit, Olivia McDaniel. But she's been secure when called upon. Backward, Panyasuk's ball is loose. Giyu threads the needle to Frillis. Bolden. Looking to take on her marker. Bolden gets to the end line and wins the corner kick. And quite a collision between her and Pilawan. And both sets of players feeling it. Look at that from Serena Bolden. Not much time remaining, but she's still putting in the effort, Serena Bolden. It looked like as she was trying to find her footing, she had made contact with the defender. Who must be exhausted as well at this stage of the game. The stretcher is out immediately for Thailand. And not a good sign. It looked like Serena Bolden might have made contact with her head or her face just as she was trying to catch her positioning. It was certainly not intentional and she was very apologetic after. A little worrying here as Pillar One will be stretched off. Which means they will be down to 10 momentarily and might be forced into a change here. But a corner kick is coming. And they will be without one of their key defenders. We hope Pon Pirun Pilawan is all right. And hopefully, won't be any lasting damage to the defender. But it's 
enough that she won't be able to continue in this game. And substitute Dip Krita on Samai is about to come on and she enters the fray now. Substitution for Thailand. Number four, 41, Pino one, replaced by player number 23, Dip Krita on Samai. Free kick, or rather corner kick for the Philippines. Sarah Egesv 